Hey guys, uh, today we're going to talk about MTG Finance. I know I don't really do enough of this. Um, I will talk about a card, Painful Truth. And yes, I do know how it works with that Goblin card. Now I do. Um, Painful Truth is a card that can essentially draw you free cards and deal you free damage in the most optimized form. Uh, obviously, you most times in Abzin, uh, you can get there. Uh, Abzin is very easy to get those three colors on turn three, but sometimes it's actually not very good because unless you have a Rhino in your hand, you're just going to present... You're, you're just not doing a good job protecting yourself, right? So the card that you got to compare it to is Abzin Charm. Abzin Charm, if they play their Anaphasia, you can remove it, uh, but then at instant speed, you can draw two cards and, you know, that's it lose two life, and that's not bad because a lot of times you need to hold it and see what they do and then you can respond to it. Painful Truth is seeing a lot of play in Legacy as well as Modern. Uh, with me, I mean a lot of play, I mean it's seeing more play than any other card in uh, Battle for Zendikar, which does not surprise me, especially in Modern. Modern, the mana base is extremely good. And Legacy, it's even better, obviously, but the card pool is much stronger Legacy. I look at the card and I say to myself, so the foils are now $14 to $15. The regular card went up from, I think like 50 cents to $2 right now. Uh, it started at like $1.50 and then it went down to like 50 cents and now it's back to $2 again. So it wasn't like, it It started, all the cards obviously, I, as I made a video previous, are hyped. 95 to 99% of the cards in a new set are hyped and will drop and plummet in price, or you know, not go up in price at least. I like it, I like the card a lot. I like foils, kind of. I don't like foils as much, but at $2, I think the card is good enough. Um, not many cards will see modern play, and that's what I primarily look for when I look at a new set, is which of these cards can be played in modern, not will be played, can be played in modern. And that's one of them. Uh, that's honestly the only one I can see uh, outside of um, Ogamog, he might see some play in modern in the Tron deck, but I don't see I don't see any other card. Gideon Gideon's not strong enough. Um, he's just not like in the token deck. I think you just want Shorin over Gideon, given the fact what he does. Uh, maybe he sees a semi fringe play in modern, but I, I don't see him. He'll dominate standard. Don't get me wrong. He will dominate standard. But I don't see that competing that well in a tier one modern deck, as opposed to you know the painful truth. I mean that's a very good card in those decks that run it. Um, I, I like it a ton. I play a lot of um, junk, and junk loves it. I mean junk is just so efficient for what you're doing for it. Um, and card advantage is huge. It's huge in the because you're grinding out uh, junk abs in. And what's the other one? Junk Absin and... Hmm, I'm missing one. But anyway, there's another deck that plays it uh, quite often. And you're essentially always drawing free cards and taking free damage. And as long as they're not mono red, you should be okay. Uh, and if you side against mono red decks, then you, or, or Taka red, uh, you, the life... I mean, life is worth it. Like, you're going to sacrifice life down the road anyway. Uh, having essentially filling your com hand completely up, half your hand comes back. Such a powerful effect in modern because you got lightning bolts, you got abrupt decays, you have a lot of stuff that is cheap to call cast. Like your next turn, so you spend turn three casting it. You draw cards. You're obviously going to draw or probably have a fourth land. And the next turn, you double abrupt decay or you um, terminate abrupt decay or you. Uh, there's so many combinations. You get Dot Seize, <laughs> Lightning Bolt, Abrupt Decay. I mean, that's that's pretty good in my opinion, uh, because a lot of the cards and that one, a lot of the best cards in Modern, they cost one or two. So you, you play your Dot Seize turn one, then your Abrupt turn two, and then your Painful Truth the next turn, and then you do you know, up to three different actions, right? You could Lightning Bolt, Lightning Helix, Boros Charm. I, I don't know what you're going to do, but you're, you're going to do a lot more on turn four than you could if you didn't play the card. 
So the card is very good. I like it. Do I see it being like a $5 card soon? No. Do I see it being $2, holding $2? Yes. Uh, do I, where do I see foils? Foils are too expensive right now, but if they drop below 10, I think it's not bad. Um, it's not bad, especially if you can get a playset for $40 on eBay or something. Eh, I don't think like $40 is high. I would say a playset for $30, 35 I would pull the trigger on uh, about eight, nine bucks a piece for a foil, but I would only buy them in playsets, right? Because it's, it's something kind of weird and modern where uh, your modern player base is only going to really trade for them in playsets. So I like it. I like the card. I think it is a lot better than most people give it credit for. Um, I think it's really just one of the only modern playable cards in Battle for Zendikar. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, leave me a comment below if you disagree with this speculation or if you have a better speculation uh, in Battle for Zendikar. And yeah, I, I know Coach Lack will see play. Like, not Coach Lack. Ogamog, Yugamog, whatever you say his name is, I know he will see play in Tron. Yes, I get that. But he's not really a speculation where, you know, the price is what it is right now for him. Bye, guys.